Yo, what's up guys? This is Jonathan from Tech Teachers and today we're going to be talking about the Vivo V11 Pro and a big problem that it has. So without much ado, let's roll the intro. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, do it right now by hitting the subscribe button. Also, click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. So the Chinese smartphone manufacturer Vivo launched the Vivo V11 Pro here in India a couple of days ago. And it comes with a ton of futuristic features like that in-display fingerprint scanner, that water droplet kind of notch, also IR face unlock and many other stuffs. And the pricing wasn't that bad either, 25,000 for a Snapdragon 660 powered one. Well, I agree, it's gonna sell like a hot cake in the offline market. But, yes, there's a but as no matter how many futuristic features Vivo has added in the Vivo V11 Pro, this basic feature or the lack of might even put you off of buying the Vivo V11 Pro as the network reception in the Vivo V11 Pro is bad and you might face very frequent call drops and the data speeds that the Vivo V11 Pro offers are not that good either. And this is solely due to the fact that Vivo has used a 4 year old hardware for the network. It has the LTE CAT 6 modem for network reception and data speeds. And so you might be even in some situations wherein the person who is calling you might be right in front of you but he might find your number to be out of reach or not reachable. Which is actually a very big problem cause no matter how many futuristic features you add in a smartphone or no matter how many features you add, the basic features such as calling if that's not good then it is not called as a phone after all. And just to give you a perspective, all the phones in this price segment or even the lower price segment has the LTE CAT modem 12 or above. Such as the Realme 2 has a LTE CAT modem 13 and the Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1 has a LTE CAT 12 modem. Even the Poco F1 has a LTE modem 16. So we were really a 4 year old hardware for network in a futuristic phone. What a joke it is. And that is not only the thing which is old, the micro USB port that it has, I agree it has fast charging or you can call it a dual engine fast charging, but still the micro USB port puts me off. Not only that, the storage user is even an EMMC 5.1, not the UFS 2.1 which you will find on higher end devices or even the lower end devices such as the Poco F1 or some higher end devices like the Asus Zenfone 5Z and the OnePlus 6. Which in a nutshell means the apps and games are gonna load slow when compared to other Snapdragon 660 power devices which has a UFS 2.1 storage or even other devices such as a Snapdragon 636 which has a UFS 2.1 although you'll not find one. But again I feel they should have used a better LTE CAT modem for the futuristic phone and what I would recommend you doing is to skip the Vivo V11 Pro and buy the Poco F1 or even wait for some other good devices to release in this price segment. So yeah this is a major problem that the Vivo V11 Pro has and it was my duty to show you or to let you know that there is a problem in the Vivo V11 Pro and even if you want to get one then I'm not gonna blame you cause the phone looks hot and other than that. I would not recommend you getting the Vivo V11 Pro. So that pretty much winds up the video. Hopefully you enjoyed the content. If you did and feel like the one who's privileged to have an awesome supporting honest like you feeling, make sure to crack the like button. But if you thought this video sucked, you better know what to do. But if you loved it and want to see more such awesome videos dropping at least twice a week, then it's no better time than hit subscribe button. And yeah, do this to make sure you get notified whenever we upload a new video. And then this has been your Jonathan from Tech Teachers reminding you to check out my previous video for which the links can be found somewhere on the screen or in the description section below. And then Thanks for watching.